Hi everybody! My name's Flossie, this is Sire in the Step Van, my little home on wheels, and I can't wait to share this episode with you. You all probably know Tideline to Alpine, Amanda and Frank. Uh, we have been friends now for longer than both of us have been on YouTube, and that is a really special thing to me. And so we try to keep in touch and try and visit each other semi-frequently wherever we are. So sometimes Amanda's coming to me and sometimes I'm going to Amanda. This time I took Siren with me and went to find Amanda in the forest. One thing I love about the coast is everything is just magnificent, majestic, imposing. come out here and tell you the story of what happened on our adventure. You know they say things happen in threes. Mine. Taking my van like no van like mine should probably ever go but it's gonna go anyway. Oh my gosh. The first warning sign that we should have seen was somebody on a motorbike had just wiped out. We stopped, checked that they were okay. I'm like, hmm, the surface of the road is looking a little whiter and shinier now. We go up, so it's quite a bit like a short, sharp climb. And we start going up and then the, the tires start rolling and revving and you're like, okay, we have lost all traction and we are no longer going forwards and we're slowly starting to slide. Now, I'm from the Southern Hemisphere. I don't have very much snow experience at all, let alone driving in snow. I'm in the passenger seat and my knuckles turn white. 
a grip under the hot passenger passenger's door. Now I'm very conscious of whoever is driving to not stress them out by the fact that I'm scared. We can't go any further forward. There's just no way that's going to happen. And so she starts trying to reverse back down the hill. The problem is we're not centered on the hill and the road has got a camber to it. And so we start sliding towards the ditch. Oh! On one side of the road is a big ditch. On the other side is a steep drop off that goes all the way down the side of the hill. Amanda does this very careful maneuver of backing sideways on this hill. And so now the van is sideways on the hill like this but somehow there's still enough traction that we're not sliding this way, but if we go backwards, we slide sideways-ish. So she does this very careful maneuver, and every time we come forward, I'm like, Ooh! and every time we go back, I'm like, grip tightening. And so three, five, six point turn, and finally, the nose is now pointing further down, and we can turn around, and I think I just go, <gasps> And then she then realizes how terrified I am. And I was like, we nearly died! We were so stoked to have a spot where we could park our vans next to each other and have a little fire. And so we'd scouted out the spot that we'd both get the vans in. It was safe Siren to get into. We go back and get Siren, and some freaking sprinter van. <laughs> Don't at me. Sprinter vans are also wonderful, but boy did I hate them in that moment. Had stolen our spot! This is the thing. When you are in a popular area, there is gonna be a lot of vans going to this place because it's accessible. So if you have a vehicle that is capable of going further away from humans, go there. Because people like me with vehicles that are not off-roading vehicles can only access certain spots. That is the nature of wild camping. It happens. It is disappointing, but it happens. And you know what? Ultimately, it led to being in a much, much better spot later on. But boy, did a lot of stuff happen between now and then. Oh my gosh. Sound of the river, winter sun. Peeking through the trees, it's beautiful. Thing. We went, decided we were going to go to a yoga class in the evening, which was really lovely. Amanda does a lot of yoga and I was like, it'll be really great to stretch my body. I've been sitting in my van for a long time. Cute 9.30 at night, coming back out to the van. <laughs> She'd locked her keys in the car. An hour and a half later, of standing out in the cold, and I had dressed for yoga, not for negative five, six degrees outside. Frank was inside, warm, wrapped up and toasty. <laughs> we were freezing. Conveniently, we had hot food and heaters, and we were warm in no time an hour and a half later when uh, our BCAA came along. So that was very funny. We just spent most of the time laughing at the irony and then being thankful that our three things had happened and we were unharmed, our vehicles were unharmed, and Frank was unharmed. So it could have been way worse. On to the next adventure! Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle us down this dirt road before we go on another dirt road somewhere else. Amanda's van. Amanda's tucked over there. 
<laughs> He's so cute. Oh, what is this? I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay. He's like, can I have it now? No. Uh, you're going to have to wait. Kiwi! Oh, Zeewee. Oopsie. It's not quite Yeah, new but it's New Zealand. I Lamb, thought I saw. green tripe. Yay! New Zealand stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey. So handsome. Oh, look at you. No. So much so winter fashion. <laughs> oh, oh, so good. <laughs> we'll think about that. I got given walkie talkies a little while ago. And because Amanda is right there, and we're going on a little road trip together, um, we thought walkie talkies would be a great idea to make sure we can keep in touch and know when to turn or know how to park without having to stop and get out of our vehicles and walk around. So, I'll let you open operation. Uh, siren calling truck. Uh, do you copy? Excellent. Siren is ready to roll out. How about you? Uh, I am good to go. I will meet you after the first turn at the top of the hill, and we will caravan to the wild. Over. Into the wild. Roger, roger. Let's go. Right. Let's go. I copy. Yes. Uh, where are you going? I'm wondering about the range. If you're at the yoga studio, that's a fair distance because I'm still passing the supermarket. Alrighty. This is so fun! Continue on British Columbia 99 North for 5 kilometers.
Good to know. Thank you. Um, I will probably stay in the van while you do your video and eat snacks and check my email. Or... Then one thing happened to me. <laughs> Thankfully, only one catastrophic thing. As we pulled out of that last spot, um, I got a message about a possible flat or some sort of emergency. Didn't seem to be a flat. There seems to be something else going on. Uh, truck to siren, do you copy? And I've lost them on the walkie talkie, so we're gonna go back and um, see if we need to do a rescue. Possibly flat tire, pulling over, urgency. <laughs> I can't see any flat tires, but um, I'm not sure what's going on with my axle. Maybe I have a stone? It feels like there's a rock in my... It feels like there's a rock or something. Or something's happened to a ball joint or something? I don't know. But it, oh, it wasn't like this before we pulled over. What have I broken? I hope it's a rock. I hope it's a rock, but it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not. Breathe, Flossie, breathe. I'm still gonna get home somehow. If you're outside, you might better hear it and figure out whether it's front or back. Uh, I get a yeah? Yeah, I'll tell you when to stop. I hope. is racing what is going on uh, I pull over here i've been slowly waiting for flossy to catch up had a weird noise they thought there might be a flat oh my fucking god <laughs> i thought i'd broken something we have a folder oh my god Oh, no Quack. fucking wonder it was making a giant Quack. fucking noise. Look at that size of that rock. Now you know. That's hilarious. That is. I'm really glad that I didn't drive fast. Look at this. <laughs> You're going to keep it as a moment. <laughs> I have to keep it. This is my stress rock. It's kind of shaped like a heart a little bit. Oh, I love you, Amanda. Thank you for like... The moment you squealed when I reversed in, I was like, either it's terrible or it's amazing. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Of course. Once you hear about our day yesterday, <laughs> you won't be surprised that it's turned from my issues to Flossie's. Yeah. Two, two more to go. Two more to go. Oh, fucking don't even. Don't even. Oh my God. I need to stress pee. <laughs> Fuck you, Rock. <laughs> Fuck you. <sighs> I mean, it's beautiful out there, but. <sighs> yes. <laughs> A moment to calm my heart rate. Roger. I just gotta breathe for two seconds. I'm keeping this rock. All right. After all that, I'm ready to go. See you on the road. Let's do this, truck. I can 
drive again. I had a stupid rock in my tire. Frank, Frank, let's get on the road. So daylight, but the warmth of the fire on my face is so nice. It's just like my heart rate is slowing down. I'm reconnecting with the river here. It's a different river. And it's so nice to be here in my step fan, bringing her new places and celebrating the fact that I just got a rock stuck in my dualies. I did not break anything. I did not damage, a tie rod, a hubcap, an axle, a bearing, whatever, it was all fine. Did we say it was cold? This is how cold it is. The side of the river is completely frozen. Look how pretty this is though. Unfortunately, salmon has been so overfished and I think it is only now that provincial governments are waking up to the fact that if they don't do something about it, and I don't even think that the measures that are being taken are enough, that salmon are gonna go extinct. Look at Siren in her natural habitat. Right next to truck and Frank yay really hope you enjoyed this adventure that we shared together it was so much fun going and reconnecting with a friend seeing Frank again and spending time around the fire being cozy and warm and enjoying company and companionship and laughs and talking about the irony and ups and downs of being a content creator. Ugh. Sometimes it's really nice to have somebody who's in the same boat to share it with. If you really enjoyed this episode, please give it a huge thumbs up. Share it with somebody who you think might enjoy it. That really helps the channel grow. A huge thank you to my Patreons. I hope you enjoy coming along for the behind the scenes journey with me. I've got some exciting things coming up for you behind the scenes and I'll see you again next week. Bye!